Okay, Utam, uh, thanks very much for, for joining me. Um, I'd love to talk to you a bit about um, how this current situation we're going through is, is affecting developer relations at Google. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, great to be here. I think this situation is impacting everyone uh, across the world. Uh, so definitely we aren't immune to it. Uh, when it comes to some of our DevRel work, uh, it has taken an impact, especially not being able to have physical events in literally uh, across the world. So a lot mm -hmm. of our physical events are getting impacted. A lot of uh, meetups that our communities uh, do, uh, those are getting impacted, uh, in-person meetups in particular. And in many geographies, there are there are restrictions for people to gather, right? like for folks can't gather together. And in the, for very good reasons, because I think, uh, health and well-being is is super important. So that's some level of impact that uh, I think we are all dealing with. Uh, what's most important for for us, uh, my team, uh, and all of our developers and developer community is health and well-being. Uh, so that's that's number one, right? So that's why we are super prioritizing that. Uh, and and, and you, even before some of those restrictions came into place, uh, some of the larger public-facing events were already. Uh, either changed in format or canceled. Uh, in, in health, there's two factors here. One is the physical health, the other is mental health as well. And, and uh, even if it's not directly impacting your region, your country, a lot of folks are thinking about it. So that these are the ways in which it, it has impacted some of our work. Um, so <clears throat> I wonder then how, how important to your, to your plan for the year were the meetups and the conferences that you were involved in? And how do you replace those now? What, what are you doing instead? Yeah, that's a good question. And uh, we're all in the process of uh, working through uh, because there's more and more new information that gets presented uh, as, as we move ahead, right? like last few weeks, six weeks ago, it was a completely different situation than what we have right now. Uh, for any liberal organization, and, and Google is, I think, is, is one of the, companies we can count in that is uh, uses multiple channels to engage with their developer community. Uh, in-person meetups, in-person events, of course, is an important channel. And I think it will be in future when things get back uh, to, to hopefully a regular rhythm of business and normal lives. I think those will be an important channel because uh, replacing in-person connection and personal interaction is, is difficult. Uh, but the additional channels that uh, we, we have in place uh, are really helping us stay connected with our developers. Uh, uh, these include uh, our social channels, our online channels, uh, using technologies through which uh, you can have people connect virtually uh, onto a meetup. Uh, we are seeing a lot of engagement through things like Hangouts and Meets, where we are having uh, developer meetups happening virtually uh, YouTube Live is another format where we are seeing a lot of our our own team members and our developer community like really getting together and, and connecting with each other. And, and in this phase, it's also okay if some of those conversations are just about uh, personal well-being and like checking in on each other and making sure that everyone is okay in this phase. So that's, those are the channels I think we are seeing more in engagement uh, in the short term. And as the situation unfolds, we will see how long uh, that trend would last. Uh, so, so from from a connection point of view, I think we have good channels through which we stay connected with our developers and our developer community. Just a mix of those channels is less of in person right now, it's, as we clearly are seeing, and a lot more on on virtual uh, and through things like videos. Pod, even podcasts are interesting format. A lot of uh, team members and also uh, developers out there are experimenting with podcasts, uh, blogs. Uh, the good thing is, uh, is working from home and hopefully if your commute hours were too terrible, then you're saving some of that time and reinvesting that and creating, creating content. So, so those are the channels we are seeing more engagement. In. And you have the Google developer groups around the world that are run by uh, often people who don't work for Google, you know, they're run by Google, uh, members of the, Google, the broader Google community. Um, so have you heard back from them um, about what they're doing within their own local regions? 
Yeah, there uh, first like all of our GDGs, Google Developer Groups are run by uh, non Googlers, so uh, it, it, they're they're not run by Googlers uh, in in almost all the cases. Uh, and we are seeing like a a wide range of experiences and stories being shared uh, with us. Uh, stories where there are a lot of developers in local uh, countries, local communities, trying their best to create solutions using technology that can help us fight against the challenge that we have uh, with COVID. Uh, in other places, um, we are seeing like a uh, lot, lot of them getting together virtually. Like there was a YouTube live that uh, our community hosted in uh, in Tokyo a couple of weeks ago, with more than 200 people joining. And then there was another one uh, uh, in Mexico uh, over the weekend, actually, in which one of my team members uh, hosted it. Uh, and again, like almost 1,000 people participated uh, at some point in time. So. Uh, so, so we are seeing a lot of that trends. Uh, two, so broadly two levels. One, a lot of solutions coming up in which developers actually want to use technology to fight back, to to contribute to solutions uh, towards COVID. The second is we are seeing a trend in which developers are finding ways to to connect with each other uh, and and uh, and find virtual chance to do that. We are also seeing a trend where some folks are taking this time as an opportunity to learn something new. Uh, if you are disconnected, if you have to work remotely, work from home, uh, might as well make the best use of that time. So learning a new language, learning a new skill, learning a new technology. We had we had uh, a GDG group in Toronto over the weekend that started running virtual uh, meetups for, for having their community members learn about machine learning. So we are seeing we are seeing some of that trend emerging, and and I think that as if the situation continues for some more time, I think we'll see a lot more of those things happening uh, across our community. Um, you you you're responsible for a, quite a large program, uh, to put it mildly. Um, what would you say then? What have you learned from this this rapidly evolving situation that you would share with with other developer relations uh, leaders and and practitioners? Yeah, that's, and I think there are lessons that uh, leaders across industries uh, are taking from, from this, right? Like the situation. One is uh, unpredictability of the environment that we operate in. Uh, we do take a lot of uh, assumptions uh, in our operation, but the situation has uh, helped us question a lot of those assumptions. And I think going forward, people will not take a lot of things for, for granted. So that's clearly one. The second is importance to have uh, multiple uh, touch points and multiple channels. Uh, that has helped us stay connected with our developers uh, in this phase, right? Uh, in, in the third is uh, really caring about uh, health and well-being uh, of, of the team members, uh, putting that at front. Uh, our team members, our community leaders, and our developers out there, just making sure that we we do the best to, to prioritize health and well-being of everyone. Uh, yeah, from a strategy point of view, a lot of assumptions that you make, uh, they do get thrown out of the window immediately when a, when a thing like this hits you. Uh, and therefore also to have fast moving uh, contingency plans uh, that you can, you can switch to uh, as needed. Um, also just being, keeping things in context, uh, this is like, this is not an isolated incident that is uh, a fault of, uh, of an individual in a company. So not, not, so the idea is not getting too harsh on yourself. Like, hey, like, oh my God, uh, feeling too terrible because it's not just your devil function that might be impacted. There, there's a lot more going on across the industry. So those are some of my lessons out of this. And as I said, like we're not out of, the situation yet so i think we'll all learn a little bit more as this unfolds those are my lessons so far okay thanks and um i guess my last question is um and you've touched on this a bit already but what once all this is over and we're back to normal life let's hope soon what do you what do you think the longer lasting outcomes of this will be for developer relations yeah, I, I'm actually very optimistic of the longer lasting outcomes because uh, there are certain things that uh, we as devil practitioners across the industry have figured out over the years and have, I would say, have done a decent job. Uh, a lot of that is based on 
in-person engagement, events, meetups, uh, some of those activities. The area where I have felt that as an industry, we, we needed more to be done is how do we continue those conversations in virtual environments, uh, online meetups, online communities, uh, in, engaging with developers when you, you don't have all of them in a room, right? And, and I think the, le the lessons that we will have in this phase will help us build that muscle for future. So when things are back to, okay, you can, you can hold your meetups again, you can hold your events again, it's safe to do so. So, uh, so doing that, but then augmenting that with additional useful resources uh, for our developer community uh, through additional channels uh, that we will, we will build our expertise. And this situation is in a way forcing all of us to, to understand those channels, to build expertise, to start being more present in those channels. And I think if we keep those learnings, that will be a, a positive for us in the future. Awesome. Well, Utam, thank you very much. Thanks so much, Matthew. And again, all the best. Stay safe.